Spotlight. On uh, me, right? That's 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 on me. Red Bison. I I'm pretty sure I've had them before. It's got a nice Alberta name to it, so I like it. I'm a, yeah. I'm a su supporter of it already. Absolutely yeah. excited. I think the first sample that I had of uh, Red Bison was at uh, Beer Fest. Yesterday, my boyfriend brought home some bottles of Red Bison. It, it was nice. It was a good little sample. Ever since they opened, they've been one of my go-tos. This is the highlight of my week. <laughs> <laughs> Good head, which is just what I want this early in the morning. It's a nice looking little beer, a yeah. little haze to it. It's got a nice haze to it. It's like a brilliant haze. You know what, that's cloudy. That dirty, unfiltered look. It's I good. think it's gonna be fruity and delicious. It smells good. I like the smell of it. A little hoppy. Citrus. Smell, I smell citrus. citrus. Do you smell citrus? And hoppy. A little grass. Mostly fruity though, like stone fruits. Nice little fruit to it there. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. <sighs> I wish that I hadn't just brushed my teeth. Yeah, I quite like it actually. Slightly dry on the finish. A little bit bitter. I could drink a lot of this. A little bit of bread to it. Like a little creamy. Creamy, a little, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, but also kind of light too, so. You know, it's something you could just sit on the patio, you don't really have to think about it too much and just sip on it all afternoon. I like it, I would I definitely drink this on a patio. Yeah. Summer weather, perfect patio, steak. It was like an orange that I'm getting there. Maybe that's the toothpaste again though. That'll quench your thirst. Yep. Keep you cool. That's what makes me want to go back for more. It's like a session, hoppy session beer. <laughs> I would call it probably just a nice little session, ha uh, happy session ale. Bet you this is a session ale. Citrus, yeah. hoppy, good, yeah. love it. Perfect balance. We are drinking Party Pants Pale Ale. Party Pants Pale Ale. I love the name of this beer, it's so good. Yeah, how can you not like the name of that? I really like the name of it, Party Pants. Party pants! <laughs> <laughs> You'll bust it out at the party and everyone will be like, oh, he's drinking party pants. 4.3% cool. <laughs> there. 4.3%? Really? These might as well be church pants beer. Um, <laughs> it's meant to put you in a good mood uh, with lots of oats. Oh. I certainly call it uh, quite drinkable. Yeah. So you could have this for breakfast. It oh. has oatmeal in it. So. We're the smarty pants drinking party pants. It's part of the, the Bermuda Triangle. I love it. That's very nice. Yeah. I love it too. Maybe party no pants after a couple of them, but I don't know. <laughs> Way to go, party pants. Good. Would buy, would drink. Recommend it. Red Bison. Well done. This is the kind of finish I like to see on a, on a piece of wood. <laughs> That's a beer color. This is a nice color to me. I love the amber color. It's so this great. one's so clear, much clearer. It's very yeah. clear, mm -hmm. I can see through this. Hey Red Bison, how's your head? No complaints? It smells sweeter, like, yeah, a, like sweeter. a sweet jam or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Getting a little hops on there too. No, yeah, a little bit more hops on that guy. Charles. Okay, cheers. Boom. All I tasted was head there, which is normally not a problem for me. Mmm. That's good. Oh, I'm enjoying this. Yeah. yeah. This has that certain taste like homebrew quality. That's super light. Yeah. It's not overly hoppy. Like it's not like whoosh. Like a bit of a bitter. Sweet and hoppy. It's got a little kick to it. it needs more dry hops. That's, that's what we need. Or more cowbell. This is one I want to just keep coming back to. Very drinkable beer. This is probably um, <clears throat> business pants. I want to have this at a barbecue or something. Pink Bison Pale Ale. Pink Bison. Pink this is bison. The, the the Women's Day brew, isn't it? 5.2%. On International Women's Day every year, yeah. breweries like to get groups of women together to brew a special batch of beer. So oh, I'm assuming cool. that would be their special batch. This would be one I think where they should sample. And then once people sample what they're tasting, yeah. they're going to take it away. I'm curious to see what the full labels are going to look like when they're completely. This is, this is the prototype concept. It's an all right beer. Yeah. I think this is a darn fine beer. This is another one I'd love to, to have around. It's great. Now 
it's gonna say one off on the label. <clears throat> That's not what it's called. Oh! Don't want you to look like an idiot. Okay, okay. I'm trying to help you out. It's not called one off. It's not. Brown. That's pretty brown. This is my kind of beer. Mm. I will say the head on this is exquisite. Yes, great. <laughs> Still quite, still quite hazy. These days in craft beer, murky is fine. Yeah, that's fantastic. It's dark and beautiful and wonderful. Like just a, just a, the slightest little bit of a roast underneath it all. Uh, definitely sweet chocolate. Yeah, but again, hoppy. Uh, slightly bitter chocolate. Shall right. we? <gasps> oh, oh my God! Whoa. Coffee. You have coffee? Nope. Like it's not too sweet. It still has like a nice like roasted malt bitterness to it. Mm -hmm. I get bitter. It has a mild bitterness, but I like it definitely like some hops, but I think a lot of the bitterness also just comes from those roasted malts. It's just hops for balance really in this guy. I love it. I do love it. This is my kind of beer though. I enjoy a dark beer. Uh, this is a breakfast beer. Rolling all over that mouth feel. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> this would be so good with Frosted Flakes. Yes. <laughs> just that's what I'm getting more at the end, is the roastedness on the top. Yeah, yeah same. Mm -hmm. I like that you Woo! like it. Cheers. It's really nice. I would certainly come back to it. I'd order a second pint of this one. I love the name. Spurline Hoppy Brown Ale. Well, that's why that it's that color. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hoppy Brown Ale. Well, we got the hops. With the hop, right? 5.2% alcohol. I would have guessed that. That's what it tastes mm -hmm. like. 5.2%. Yeah, I can keep enjoying it the whole night. I, I'm not sure when I would drink this. I would say I would drink it anytime I like a beer. What's a spur line? Yeah, what is this? I think a railroad, like a spur line is like, isn't that like an offline? Spur line! Beer and chill? Beer and chill. <laughs> <laughs> Calgary proud! Where's Nenshi? I definitely get the brown off of it. Um, I smell brown. Yeah. I smell brown. Yep. It's great. This is my favorite one so far. I'd call that enjoyable. That's an yeah. enjoyable little beer. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Just test that. <laughs> Well, this is a dark beer. Is it? I think I'm excited again. <laughs> so far, it looks a little similar to the last one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little bit of a ruby color as it's as the light's coming through it. It's really quite dark. It's a little bit cloudy. Not quite as murky. This one is a little more clear. Okay, something different. Yep. I'm not gonna say what it is. It's a surprise. Mmm, this is gonna be my favorite. Oh, now that's some coffee on it. Oh, this is such a good smell. They should make this in a candle. I was gonna say, mm. I would like use soap that smelled like this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh man. Fair, fairly robust roast on this guy. Oh, number four. Oh. I like that. Less hoppy, more coffee. Oh, that's my favorite. That's so good. Oh, it's so smooth. It's very light and smooth. This one's sweeter. A little sweeter. A little sweeter. This is the least bitter one that we've had of mm. all of the beers. I find that very nice. It is a little a little sweeter, but I'm not finding it overly sweet. And I don't think I could drink a lot of these, like. Really? There's caramel in it. I, I could drink like conservatively seven. And it's not overly sweet. I like this. So smooth, oh man. This is pretty easy to drink. I'm really enjoying this. I'm enjoying this one. Can't get one for the road? Is that a... <laughs> so we're drinking the Flight Path Brown Ale. Flight Path Brown Ale. Coming in for a landing, folks. Again. Brown Ale again? Okay, Not... that's why that color didn't change, yes. maybe, yeah. I am surprised to hear that this is a brown ale. So I wonder why they did a brown and then a hopped brown. I would love to talk to them and discuss. That is much more robust than I would expect for it. It's a quality beer that just has nice flavor to it. I love this. Yeah. I, would, I would drink the hell out of this. 
Oh my god, give me this before a flight? <laughs> like a full bomber. Yeah. I'm done. Good. 5.2%. It replaces like a red wine for me almost. Like a steak oh. and this would be good? or Maybe. Okay, so based yeah. on what we've had today, would you drink more red bison? Definitely. Well, I think that this is also one of the best compliments that you can give in brewing. It's an empty glass. Oh, okay. Then wait. Look, I'm thankful too. <laughs> Thank you, Red Bison. Salut. Overall, excellent beers. Each mm, one. You did good. I want more. <laughs> <laughs>